Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Netus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my pathology playlist. In previous videos, we talked about acute inflammation. We talked about hypersensitivity reactions. We talked about the complement system. And we talked about an introduction to neoplasia, the basics of oncology. In the last video, we talked about hamartoma, which is a non-neoplastic mass. Today, we'll talk about another non-neoplastic mass known as choreo Stoma. If it ends in oma, it's a mass, except Oklahoma. Choreostoma is when you have a mass of tissue growing at an abnormal location. Example, pancreatic tissue growing inside the wall of the stomach. What in the actual world? Now, what does choreostoma even mean? Choreo means birth or related to birth or after birth. Remember the chorion that gave us the placenta? Oh, got you. And OMA means what? Mass. Let's review my previous video titled Cancer Basics. Remember that growth includes the normal growth during embryology, healing and regeneration after injury, as well as neoplasias. What is cancer? Cancer is the malignant neoplasia. How about choreostoma? Choreostoma is not a neoplasia. Cellular growth could be hypertrophy, hyperplasia, metaplasia, dysplasia, neoplasia. Neoplasia includes benign tumors and malignant tumors, i.e. cancers. But hamartomas are not neoplasias. Choreo Stomas are not neoplasias. Recall from the previous video on hamartoma that hamartoma is not a true neoplasia. Hamartoma is tumor-like, not an actual tumor. Hamartoma is a growth of disorganized tissue. Where is it? At its native site. Bronchial hamartoma in the bronchi, where it's supposed to be. Angioma in the angio, in the vessels, as it's supposed to be. The so-called benign melanoma in the melanocytes of the skin, as they are supposed to be. But choreostoma is different. Choreostoma is growth at a foreign, non-native site. So choreostomas are non-neoplastic and the growth is at the non-native site. What do you mean by that? I mean growth of stomach tissue in the intestine or pancreatic tissue in the intestine or pancreatic tissue in the wall of the stomach or thyroid tissue in my liver. What? Or brain tissue in my nasal cavity. What's going on? That's a choreostoma. In the next video, we have a comparison table between hamartoma and choreostoma. So please subscribe. Now, let me give you a classic example of choreostomas, which is Meckel's diverticulum. Let's review. Imagine that this is part of my gut. Okay, part of your intestine. An inward growth is called a polyp, but an outward growth, an out pouching is called a diverticulum, such as Meckel diverticulum. By the way, I have a separate video on Meckel's diverticulum. Today, we're just reviewing it very quickly. By the way, did you know that Meckel is the most common congenital anomaly of the gastrointestinal tract? Moreover, it is the most common cause of anemia in neonates and children in countries where severe malnourishment is not an issue or is not common. Meckel's becomes the most common. But in countries where iron deficiency due to severe malnutrition is common, then iron deficiency will be the most common cause of anemia in neonates and children. What is it? It's a true diverticulum. It's a true outpouching. What do you mean by true? I mean all the layers of the wall of the gut are outpouching, are bulging outwards. But what if it's just one layer? Then you do not call it a true diverticulum. Where is it located? Small intestine or large intestine? Small intestine. Which part? Duodenum, jejunum, or ileum? terminal ileum. Why did it happen? Usually persistence of the vitellin duct. And this can act as a focus to cause volvulus into susception or obstruction. Very high yield. So I can have meckles and then before you know it, I develop volvulus or into susception, etc. Which part of the gut is the ileum? Is it foregut, midgut, or hindgut? If you say midgut, you're absolutely correct, which means this can trigger a midgut volvulus in children. The nature of Meckel's is a choreostoma, normal tissue growing at an abnormal site, such as stomach tissue growing at this part of the ileum or pancreatic tissue growing there. And this tissue is normal, i.e. capable of performing its original function. For example, the stomach tissue is going to secrete HCL, the acid. That's why patients with Meckel's diverticulum can have ulcers and ulcers can bleed and bleeding will make me lose 
red blood cells, which include hemoglobin, which contains heme and globin. And what is in the heme? Iron and protoporphyrin. So when I lose the iron with that blood, what do I get? Iron deficiency anemia. How can we find the choreostoma? Well, you can use nuclear medicine, technician scan. How can I manage Meckel's diverticulum? You can remove it. What do you call it when you remove a diverticulum? Diverticulectomy, which can be performed laparoscopically. Meckel's diverticulum and the classic mnemonic, the rule of twos, it affects 2% of the population. It's 2 inches long, that's the length of the diverticulum. Distance, 2 feet away from the ileocecal valve. 2 times more likely in males than females. Typical presentation is around 2 years of age and it has 2 types of ectopic tissue, gastric tissue and pancreatic tissue growing a normally in the intestine. If you want to learn more about cancers, check out my pathology playlist as well as my oncology or cancers playlist. Do you want to learn more about arrhythmias, angina, myocardial infarction, strokes, and much more? Download my emergency medicine high yields course. For different toxidromes, download my toxicology course. It will teach you about iron overload, copper overload, mercury poisoning, arsenic poisoning, cadmium poisoning, cobalt poisoning, etc. And to learn about the difference between compensated, uncompensated, partially compensated acid base disorders, I have a course for this as well. If you do not wish to download my courses but would rather watch them right here on YouTube, click the join button and choose the highest tier. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense.